Hey yo, welcome back to my channel. I am She Bang Beat. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. That nice little thumbs up. And make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I post a video. Please do all those things that I just mentioned. It really helps the channel grow. And we're growing and glowing together. <laughs> Today's video is all about how to make a guitar melody, a dark guitar melody. So I'm going to be walking you through a beat that I did that's dark guitar and some flute because we love flutes. Make sure you follow all of my social medias and again hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those post notifications and go ahead and leave me a comment. We can converse. Let's talk about it. What do you want to hear? What do you want to know? What do you want to say? Say it. I'm a listening ear. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into the video. All right. So we're in Logic. We have our screen report going. And I'm going to walk you through how I made this melody. So the first instrument I have is a guitar out of contact. Clean pop solo melody. <laughs> And this progression is nothing but two chords. It's It goes from a B minor to an F sharp. So if I delete this, and I want to go in and redo it, all I'm doing is adding, making a, uh -oh, making a B sharp, I mean making a B minor chord, which is that and I strummed it. That's all that it is. All this progression is, is really just a B minor with a C sharp on top as the melody. And then I went down five semitones to an F sharp and played with the melody. Then we, had, we thought there were channel EQ on here. Dropped out some at 180 and 250 and cut that low, that bottom end off. Threw an amp on here, took out some of the presence. This is literally the default amp. When you load this up, this is what comes up. And so I just, I like the sound. So I took down some of the presence and I turned down the, of course, like the bass and all that type of stuff on the EQ. I threw some reverb on here, 18%. And I threw some RC20 double tracking one on here. Turned up the space a little bit. I have some finisher micro jet plane preset turn that down some this really helps it spread out so you know that melody won't just sit right in the middle and of course i do some sidematic on here the sidematic space light this is the light version which is this is the free version I have some phaser on that and then i have a bus on here which has a guitar a uh, guitar tool rack on here and i play with nothing <laughs> i literally i kept it the same as it was because i like the sound and then on the bus i didn't use i didn't use that much of the effect but i also added some space some space designer in here which is a reverb to you know make it sound airy and spacey and then the next sound is the is some bells the bell pattern is the same as the guitar pattern i just threw some half time on here and eq and that was it. So we have this. And here, I went to when the X band got a deep whisper soft pad out of the soft pads. And I added some EQ on there, cut that bottom end out, threw some pancake on here to have it fat, go back and forth between, you know, your ears, which is ear candy then i added some space imager and spread that out some just to give it some space and it has that floaty type sound and it's just two chords which is the b minor chord and the f sharp chord next we have this is this is just a noise sweep i like it it's in the background it feels that space 
it gives a little bit more texture to it. I didn't do anything really fancy to it besides cut that low end off with the EQ and pan it. That's all I did. Not pan it, I'm sorry. Pancake it. And then I turned the, the mix down and I, I set the, the beat sync to a quarter note. Next sound we have is the flute. <laughs> And that's the flute. Yes, it looks like a lot of effects on here, but I wanted it to have a certain sound. So this is how I initially made the flute. These right here are all the flute. These are the original flute sounds. I'm gonna play them for you. This is the original, original flute sound. <laughs> That's the original flute sound. It's so many of them because I layered the sound. I like the sound of each of these together. So we got those. And that ended up being this. And all I did on there, I threw some pancake on there to move it around some, turn down the mix, put a one bar, beat sync on there, threw an amp on here, a pre a present day amp, turned down the presence a little bit, turned the effect to uh, vibrato, threw some EQ on here, did some cuts and dips, then I added some RC20 to 808 Dirty Punch, or yeah, Dirty Punch, turned the noise up a little bit on there, added some effectrics, we got a reverse, we got some filter, we got phaser, and we have a chorus, threw a little delay on here, I have one side, at a quarter note, then the other side at a half note. Then we have some reverb on here at 34%. We have another EQ where I took down some of those really high highs. And if we look in here, I did some cuts in here just so I can, like here I reversed it. I did some fades and like some slow downs right here. I reversed some of these in here and just kind of manipulated it after, you know, to, to make it more interesting. And then the next sound we have is just a, a sub bass out of Omnisphere. A sub bass out of Omnisphere, the crackle bass sub. I didn't change anything on there, nothing at all. I, I really like this sub bass, I use it quite often. The next instrument we have is just some string hits. And they kind of pan back and forth. I put added the EQ on here, cut down that lows, lows, and those highs. Kind of just kept the mids. Then I turned to the pancake, did the fast to slow preset. Then I have some delay on here, which is a, a quarter note slow pan. So when it hits, it bounces. It's like a delay. So it, well, it, it is a delay. So it bounces back and forth for a quarter note. Um, and then throw some Im imager on here, which spreads it out some. And we have... It's just like a little choir that I got out of, out of Arcade. And so when I got that out of Arcade, I ended up bouncing it, turning it to audio. I threw some pitch shifter on here, threw the semitones all the way up so it could give me a really high octave. And turned the mix down a little bit to down you know, to 36 through some reverb on there the cave reverb and some eq i threw some eq on here and took out of that took out that bottom end and then last but not least we have this arcade sample which is literally nothing i, I feel like i said literally a hundred times in this video but anywho this sample is nothing but texture I got it out of particles, biodiversity, and it's nothing but texture. I added some pancake on there, some compressor, and I added some EQ on there. That That's it. I added pancake on there, and I added an EQ on there. And that's it. 
So I'm gonna let you all hear the beat after this. Once again, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I post a video. Follow all of my social medias, which will be on the screen or link down below. And also make sure you check out the other videos and leave me some comments on things you wanna see, things you wanna do, things you wanna talk about. How's your day going? How's your mama meal? All of that. All right, you are. Until next time, I am She Bang and I am out.